Hi and welcome to Sci-Fi Fans. There is no doubt that Stephen King as an author is definitely one of the world's best, particularly in the horror genre, with some of his books being adapted into some of the best horror films, Christine, Carrie being a couple, but he hasn't just stuck to horror, we had The Green Mile as well, as, and also The Shawshank Redemption. But the film that I'm going to talk about today is the 2007's adaptation of The Mist. This, I believe, is the second adaptation of the Stephen King novella, but without any uh, more waffling, I will jump to my top five points of this film. Number one, filming schedule. Now, normally films are shot over a period of a couple of months to a year, with Lord of the Rings being shot over a period of about three years because they done all of the filming for the trilogy in one hit. So it's rather surprising really, for me at least, to find out that The Mist was filmed in only 37 days. That's a little over a month. Number two, when this adaptation of Stephen King's novella was made and Stephen King got to watch it, he genuinely found this scary. Once he revealed this, Frank Darabont commented that that was the happiest moment in his career. So there you go, he was really pleased that he'd managed to scare the uh, person who created the whole story from the novella. Number three. The Mist 2007 wasn't Frank Darabont's first Stephen King book that he had adapted into a movie. The other two books were Shawshank Redemption and The Green Mile. So perhaps it's because of his previous experience in adapting Stephen King's work that he managed to make The Mist is scary enough that it actually scared Stephen King. Number four, the flamethrower that is used near the end of the film was made out of parts that the effects department had purchased from a home department store. So they just constructed this thing out of whatever they could find in a like a DIY shop. This scared Frank Debart on so many different levels. So there you go, not only was uh, the film scary, but even the director became very frightened with the prospect, I suppose, of things going wrong with the flamethrower near the end of the film. And before I get to my final piece of uh, trivia for you, if you're enjoying this video, then have you considered liking the video and subscribing to the channel? If not, would you please do that? Because that will help me grow this channel to a wider audience and help YouTube push my videos out to uh, more people. So that would really help the channel and it won't cost you anything. However, if you're a science fiction fan and you want something new to read, then might I suggest that you buy a copy of Broken Ceasefire available on the Amazon bookstore. So it's definitely me. Um, yeah, this is available in paperback and hardback editions on the Amazon bookstore. Or as I said, you mentioned earlier, you can go to any other ebook platforms and download a copy there as well. So on with the uh, fifth and final part of the video. Number five. Thomas Jane isn't any stranger to Stephen King's books or films, having starred in 2003's adaption of Dreamcatcher, where he played the character Henry. The Mist 2007 was his second Stephen King film to start, that he starred in. And so if one of the characters in The Mist looks familiar to you, that's probably what it is. That's where we're going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed yourself here, then please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that like notification because that really helps the channel grow. I'd love to build an audience of around about 500 to 1,000 followers on here where we can discuss movies and pop culture. Thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video. Please do check out my weekly podcast. Episodes go out every Monday. And I will hope to see you on those other platforms as well. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.